This car is sponsored by GDC Fire and Security Limited. It's sanctioned by the Combat Sports Safety Commission and takes place over three rounds for the Amateur Featherweight Cage Conflict Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in on the 145 pounds. He represents Esprit G Charlestown. He brings in today Cage a perfect record. I think the crowd are up for this one. Yeah, big, big turnout. Two of the country's finest featherweight amateurs. Kiernan taking the center of the cage here. Max using his range then on the back foot. Big shot Aaron from Kiernan. Stuffed by Lally. I think, I think there's a bet on that if Kiernan can get Max down only once, then he wins a pair of energized glasses. <laughs> and just like that, Max takes Tiernan down with a beautiful entry, turn the corner, ends up on top. Both, boys, both guys bring a strong wrestling game into the yep. cage for this one. Yeah. Max just slid right into half guard there, beautiful. Like, I mean, that is just perfect posture sitting over here. He's not putting himself in danger. He's just waiting for an opportunity to transition into the half guard here. He is one of the most exceptional young grapplers the country has to offer, particularly in the mixed martial arts game. He's got that lovely overhook, and what it's doing is it's actually threatening the guillotine as he just jumped on it there. It's, it's putting it always out there. It was enough to make Tiernan lock and drop to his back, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Lockham now has that butterfly hook, he has that you know, grip around the body, but... You know, I've said it Tiernan before as well, sometimes you can sit in these positions when, in actual fact, you can get up. All you need is one leg free to get up, and he had two legs free there. Now, as he's trying to transition here, he needs to be careful of his back. Max is very dangerous getting on that back. Lally has a great chain wrestling game. Lockerin more so, he will try to get you down and kind of keep you in a position and do some damage from there. But Lally can really string attack into attack into attack and so on. And uh, he's, he's a finisher. I mean, in his eight wins, he's got four submission victories. So having rolled at him once and being put away multiple times, I know firsthand how good the kid is. And, he looks very composed out there. Both fighters do. Now Tiernan shot in. There was no setup on that, but he's coming down here low on the hips, looking for an ankle pick. He needs his head underneath Max's knee to finish this. It's going to be very difficult to finish it without the head. There he goes. He needs to dig that way underneath the knee. Max doing a great job here. With Almost looking for a switch there. Lally recently spent uh, a couple of months over in Thailand yeah. uh, training where he actually wasn't doing a hell of a lot of Muay Thai. He was, uh, according to his dad, wrestling with a bunch of Russians day yeah. in, day out. So uh, He was doing work with Volkanovski. He was. Yeah. I hear he's pr a pretty good fighter. Yeah, he's, he's decent all right, Jay. He's doing okay yeah. for himself. Is he, yeah? Yeah. Is he in the UFC, is he? Yeah. Uh, he's made it, I think, yeah. Yeah. Made it to the I big I think I've heard of him. You could see one or both of these guys making it to that level as well. They're very promising prospects. Yeah. Lovely defense here from Max. He's making Tiernan work very hard to get anything off here. Big knees as well. Nice knees there from Lally just to create the separation. That right hand found a home. Yeah. Lally, of course, works his striking with Holly Mahan in Dublin Combat Academy, and you know he's he's often looked at as a very effective grappler. People forget he can strike too. Yeah, he had some nice clean shots there, especially towards the end of the round. But all to play for. I mean, 
Long way to go yet. Interesting to note that I think uh, Tiernan actually took this fight on a couple of weeks' notice, having just transitioned as well to a new club. So it's not just a fight against Max Lally here. It's a fight against different emotions, at different like you know circumstances, different people in this corner. Those are all tangible things. That, I mean, you cannot write that stuff off. So this is a big deal, and he's doing it against one of the best featherweights. I'm very impressed on taking this fight. Yeah, that shows cojones, doesn't it? And yeah. Oh, I love the entry by Lally. Yeah. Sprawl by Lovren. Hey. He didn't set it up, so he was oh, he fell a bit short there. I mean, you're not going to get Tiernan down without setting things up. So Tiernan did a great job sprawling, getting the hips back to the cage. Now he finds himself with his back to the fence. Max with the body lock. Um, he's on some big knees here as well. Right in front of us, and those like a couple of nice impactful yeah, knees. I try to wee Uchimata there. Sometimes it's quite difficult to get off, but what it does do is create a bit of position for you to, you know, escape that body lock. And the, the grip has been broken. Parents come off the cage nicely, taking the center here. Good, very wor good work there. In. Yeah. It's kind of like you can take me down. Well, I'll take you down back. I think he's after those energized glasses. To be honest with you, and there he are. He just put them in the bag. He's locking up the feet here. Yeah, it's a really like good said, back and forth, isn't it? I said to you earlier, I mean, all you need is one foot, like one foot free, and you can get back to the cage. But if you have someone down and you can lock both feet up, it's going to be very difficult. Of now, course. he's got one leg locked here with his own legs, and then he's gripping Max's right leg here, so that prevents Max from getting back up. Now, he does, he, he's, he's kind of putting on a facial expression as if he's, ah, he's all right here, but he's still on bottom, so he needs to work up from here. Yeah. A body lock, tearing and locking yeah. his... Uh, it's problematic still for Lally. Max landing some nice shots here. Talking to his corner, nice yeah. and calm. Very calm. Ragdolled a little bit back down to yeah. his knees, but makes a return to the feet instantly. These are high, uh, high energy uh, transitions here. A Granby roll. Beautiful work by Max Lally. That was a beautiful Granby. He really jumped out. I haven't actually seen it being jumped like that. That was um, nice. He almost got himself in, found himself yeah. in a nice front headlock position, but Lockwood did well yeah. to recover. Oh, flying triangle. Beautiful entry. He cinched this up very quickly, and that he's cut an angle. He's looking into the nice. ear of Tiernan Locker. He's looking to underhook either the leg or the arm. I mean, if he can pull this off, that would be sensational. Yeah, this is like just the, the jumping Grammy into the jumping triangle. Lachlan has squared up a little bit with him, which is just probably saving him here. Yeah, he's just throwing shots here. Yeah. He ain't out of deep waters yet. Yeah, you have to defend those shots because you don't want to be hitting, eating too many of those shots. You know, and, and when Antirna defends those shots, then he's going to open up, uh, you know, the triangle. Of course. Valley just trying to get to that little angle and as I said he's trying to look into the ear get get to a 90 degree angle to create that squeeze but this is a lot of pressure on the neck well it's it's kind of down over the back now it's not not fully around the neck this triangle and the left arm of Lockwood isn't across his own neck so I think he's just going to run the time here it's more of a holding position than anything else where you can land strikes yeah no credit to <laughs> I mean that was as high level as you get, you know, for what like, a fight that jumping, a Granby roll you do in a transition from the body lock, you know, uh, he was his back against the cage, he jumped the Granby, I haven't seen it before, it was really nice, and then it wasn't, he wasn't satisfied with one jumping move, he tried to do a jumping triangle, yeah, I mean, I mean, it could be one apiece, but I'm, I'm probably going to say that Max is probably two up here. Yeah, but I think the scoring for the neutral fans will be incidental, because for the likes of you and me just watching this, we just want to see oh, yeah, a really good fight, and this is sensitive. Sensational. This is fantastic. For the MMA aficionados, the hardcores, the yeah. nerds, yeah. those of us who appreciate the, the finer points and the, the technical stuff. This fight oh, three. What a head, head kick. kick by Tierno. Oh, and a right by Max. We're trading now. Oh, oh the right hand oh, land and the jab from Lockwood. Beautiful. Oh, Tierno changing it up. Pushing Max against the cage. Yeah, he drew him into the striking and then changed levels, and that, that can be the difference in that entry. You know, I said to myself before I started commentating here tonight, I was like, don't shout into the mic. But when you got guys doing things like this, it's hard not to. It gets very difficult yeah. not to turn into a bit of a fanboy. Do you know what? I, like, do you see Max is throwing these wee strikes and they don't look like much, but they're actually really sore because yeah. you can actually throw them without the, like, as in, you can, the, the small part of your knuckle, which isn't, like, yeah. which is completely exposed, it's not covered by anything. They're actually really, really sore and he's throwing them when he needs to throw them and he's defending them when he needs to defend. 
Smart play. But Kieran here trying to lift him up here. Yeah, Lally has been training and competing since he was a small child. I mean, he's around a long time. He's built up a lot of hours in the training room and in competition. And both guys have been training a long time. I mean, Kiernan, you know, he left his, his home at like 17 years of age, moved over to Liverpool. Um, you know, these guys are, are all in. And they're putting it all on the line here, fighting each other. And they're not letting the fans down. Beautiful transitions from both guys. Oh, a big right from Kiernan. Maxim with the shot. From headlock position for Lockerin now, what can he do with it? Yeah, I think he just wants to get out back up by his feet. Just disengages and goes to go back to the striking. Oh. They're both desperate to get this takedown on each other. Um, yeah, it's a real battle of wills. But the, 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 at the start they were setting it up nicely, but towards the end of this round, or sorry, towards the third round here, they, they kind of stop setting things up and they're just jumping in. I'd like to see them, you know, remain composed and set things up properly and they'll get more success. But right now they're kind of just letting the hands go as well. Yeah. Beautiful shots from both guys. They're trading. Yeah. Possibly looking so Oh, more lovely hook from Tiernan. Trying that head kick again. Max looks a bit tired. Tiernan staying, keeping that pressure on with the shots. Beautiful body shots, changing yep. levels. Keeping Lally guessing pressure in him now against the fence. Keeps going back to that Ooh. head kick. Lovely shots from Max. Far and back. Oh, big shot. Lockman read it like a book. He nearly hit the knee there as well. Yeah. 10 second clacker, what a three rounds we've had. Oy. Swing and a miss with the head kick. He fires back and another. Lovely. Go on ahead. Both fighters trading and what a finish. Let's Two go for four rounds. Belt. Two more rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to your judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge number one scores this bout, 29-28, Lally. Judge number two scores this bout, 30-27, Lockham. And judge number three scores this bout, 29-28. For your winner by split decision, and now, 